Hello everyone. Welcome to the 15th tutorial of data visualization using Matplotlib. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about applying various styles to, to our plots in Matplotlib. So basically, the default style is a white background, right? The basic plots that we have seen. However, if you go to Matplotlib style sheet reference, if you just Google it, then you come to this page and here you can see there are different styles that we can apply to our plots to make it look even more beautiful and visual. So basically sometimes your default plotting styles may not be suitable for different presentations or the data that you want to share with your partners. In that case, to make it more fancy, you'd want to use something that is more visual and more attractive. Style sheets are helpful for this regard. So let's jump to our code editor and we are going to use our same code that we used to code uh, basically plot bars. So if I run this code, here you can see it's a familiar code that we use for plotting our bar plots. So now let me go ahead and comment this out. We just want to uh, see different types of st uh, style sheets that are available. So if I go ahead and print matplotlib.style.available Let's go ahead and run this. So here you can see Python has returned me a list of a, 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 a containing a lot of strings which basically refer the style sheets. So there is something called Seaborn Dark, Seaborn Ticks, Classic, Seaborn Dark Palette. There are a lot of these basically. Let's go ahead and try one of these, right? So let me remove this from here and let's uncomment this part of code. Now, before plt.show, let's go ahead and put plt.style.use and then uh, within the use uh, method, we are going to put, uh, let's just pick one, I'll pick seaborn. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this here and let's go ahead and run this. Wow, we, we don't see any change in our uh, background style, do we? I mean, the style looks pretty much same to me. That's because we have put our plt.style.use after our plotting method. So basically you can use plt.plot, plt.bar, plt.hist, plt.py. You can do all of these, right? To use a particular style sheet, you have to put it before you call the plotting method. So basically you have to put it before it. So uh, matplotlib knows that he, uh, it is going to plot everything using this style sheet. Now, Let's go ahead and run this code again. So here you see, we have successfully changed our style. The background looks a bit different. The colors of the bars look a bit different. It is using the Seaborn style. So basically, this is how you can actually change. Uh, you can play around with different styles to see how which style suits your plotting style the most. So I would really suggest go ahead and uh, uh, experiment with this. All you have to do is print matplotlib dot style dot available or just google you know you can easily find the page uh, this page and you can easily check out which uh, plotting styles suit you the best now there is also one more thing you can actually go ahead and uh, make your own style sheet so basically you can go ahead and define all of these things uh, using the rc parameters now uh, uh, I'm going to show you a small version of it. I, in my opinion, the available style sheets here are uh, already way uh, really good and are enough to, you know, to give uh, to give you visual and attractive uh, plots. However, if you want to change your own style sheets, uh, we can do that by using the RC params method that is available in Matplotlib. So here, let's remove this now. Now. Uh, before I do anything, let's go ahead and comment this again. We don't want to plot unnecessarily. So here I'm going to print something. So I say matplotlib dot rc params. Let's go ahead and run this. Actually, I don't think we need. Uh, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and run this. Yeah, it's not callable. We don't need this. So here you see. If I so so basically matplotlib has set some default styles for using this for example axis uh, edge color is k axis face color is w 
uh, formatter limits axis formatter limits minus 7 to 7 we can also find a uh, plot uh, font size here so if font size is basic 10 font weight normal uh, grid color is uh, a hex code here font fantasy there are a lot of styles uh, which are defined as default in matplotlib we can go ahead and change this basically and i will show you how to do this so here let's remove the print statement and i can say uh, let's go ahead and uh, so basically this is a dictionary right uh, if i so this is basically a dictionary this is the key this is the value so i can go ahead and call one uh, uh, key for example font dot size and i can set it to you know 20 so now if i run my code hopefully our font size uh, should be bigger than uh, the previous one right so now our font size is too big but yeah but this is basically how you can basically change the default settings of something without applying a particular style sheet you can go ahead and play with the style sheet by yourself also uh, you know uh, let's go ahead to our documentation so basically if you go ahead and search for matplotlib fonts you will come to this uh, page here you can see there is a lot of font style font family font style font variant font weight you can do a lot of things here basically all the things are mentioned let's go ahead and play with font family a little bit i'm really curious to see what happens i have actually not tried this one so here if i replace font dot size with font dot family and uh, yeah uh, let's choose the fantasy family yeah let's just see what happens so yeah so now let's go ahead and run this oh, okay so basically now the font style has changed to little cursive it's fantasy uh, style so yeah so basically this is how you can make changes to your plots either you can apply a whole style if you want by using matplotlib.style.use or you can actually go ahead and change uh, individual settings one by one based on your requirements thank you guys for watching this tutorial i will see you in the next one in the meantime please go ahead and play with these style settings you will learn a lot also it's very interesting